Coomtria. Coomtria. Comment if you know what movie that's from or what TV series that's from. Coomtria. Coomtria. Today, I am taking a look at the PackSafe Vibe 25 and Vibe 20. So those of you who don't know who PackSafe, what PackSafe, why PackSafe is, they are a company that makes uh, high security bags for travel and just for everyday commute even. If you're out in places that you're not sure if they're that safe to be out in. I would say that the Vibe series is probably like a medium security bag. It has some of the security features uh, that PackSafe really advertised, but there are some, some security holes <laughs> in their bags as well. But we'll get to those uh, in just a little bit. So uh, let's start out with the exterior of the bag, just to kind of give you a, a visual look into this bag. You can see it's a very unassuming bag. They do come in many different colors, so not just black. They have like gray and purple and blue and green and camo. So whatever your heart desires, I think that they have. So very unassuming, very clean looking bag. Uh, you can see the only difference really between this one and this one, this one's a little taller than this one. And that's probably where they get the extra five liters from. About uh, the width is about the same. So the first security feature that I'm gonna talk about is one that you can't see, but it is right underneath the skin of, of the bag. And that is called their, their exo mesh uh, slash security system. So if someone comes along with a knife and slashes your bag and expects to get in there and get whatever's in your bag, they can't. There is a stainless steel mesh, which is integrated into the bag. So when they slash, they hit the stainless steel mesh and they can't get through. Of course, it'll cut the outside of the bag, but they won't be able to get inside the bag. Uh, other things about the outside, got some nice water bottle pockets here that are expandable. There's a little button right here that allows us to be expanded. You could probably fit like a 40 ounce water bottle, I would say, in each side, which is nice. We've got some nice compression straps here on either side to help cinch down and compact the bag onto your back. That's it for the front. Uh, we'll talk about the zippers in just a little bit. On the back here, we have two straps, of course and a nice, it's like EVA foam with a mesh, mesh fabric on top for some breathability. You know, not the most breathable backpack, but it is actually very comfortable and does keep your back fairly comfortable when you're outside on a hot day. The same EVA foam is in the straps with that mesh material as well. And the second security feature we'll talk about uh, happen to be the straps themselves. They have built-in stainless steel cable in these straps. So if you have it on your back, someone comes along, they can't just cut your strap off and grab the back, grab the backpack off of your back, which is kind of cool. It's a, it's, a, it's a really neat feature. And this side especially has a neat feature where you can detach this strap, well, let me unlock it, from the back. So you can wrap this around a secured table or a, some other secured fixture and lock your bag up. So if you need to go to the bathroom and you don't want to bring your bag with you or you need to quick go order something and you don't want to bring your bag with you, you can have it locked up and keep it safe and secure. Uh, this might even be good for students if you're in a library and you want to make sure no one walks off with your bag while you go get another book to read because I know all of you like to read a lot of books. You can lock it up and not have to worry about it. So that's, that's, that's kind of cool. That's really neat. This comes with a little standard waist strap and sternum strap here to help distribute the weight a little bit more. And some other little neat features are some reflective stripes that you can see here and here. And got it there and there. And I think that is it. So it keeps you a little bit more visible at night. Next, let's talk about zippers. I don't think these are YKK zippers. They don't say anywhere in the documentation or on the zipper itself, but they are really nice zippers. They're nice and smooth. And these zippers are also uh, puncture resistant, so if someone can't just take a pen and pop it open and, and get in there, which is nice. So the zippers offer security in terms of this, they call it the rhubar. And what you do here, let me get these zippers. You put the zippers together, and instead of having the lock on the zippers themselves, 
put the zippers together like that. You open this up and you put the zipper tab holes in there. You lock it and then you put a lock through there. And that keeps your zippers nice and secure. So this front pocket, it's pretty nice storage. You got a nice weave mesh here. Take a look at all your doodads you got in there. You got an RFID blocking pocket here so you can put your passport and your credit cards and IDs and it'll prevent someone from just walking past, scanning your bag and getting any of your information. Some other organization bits here, pen. You got a full depth pocket right here to put your granola bars in there. And then another pocket here with a little key ring. So, not bad. It's got a nice, uh, it's like a topology map print for the travel hearted like yourself. <laughs> And we'll have to go bazooka style for this. Full, full depth pocket here with a little, little place with some elastic for your laptop. This can only fit a 13.3 inch MacBook and it won't fit anything larger. It's, it's a very narrow bag, you can see. So it, it keeps it nice and tight to your back so you don't bump into stuff. But So it's narrow and tall, so you can't fit anything larger than that. I tried to put my 14 inch uh, ThinkPad in there and it just didn't fit. Granted, you could fit it in the main compartment here, probably, but then it's not secured very tightly. You can also put a water bladder inside there, and they have a little, a little outlet here that you can do that. You can, you know. So that's really it for this bag. It's a very simple, simply designed, simply built bag but it does offer a lot of storage and it is a very comfortable ba comfortable bag to have on your back. Uh, as far as the differences between the 25 and the 20, you'll just see right off the bat, the water bottle holders are made out of a little bit different material. Although this does still have that mesh material inside here uh, when you need to expand it, but the outside's a little different. Uh, this one doesn't have the compression strap like this one does. And it also does not have the waist strap like this one does. But other than that, they are identical. I don't really have much more to say about this bag other than some of the downsides. So first thing is the way that these straps are designed for adjustment. You'll notice there is no adjustment strap down here like a normal backpack would. They're up here. And that's because this wire mesh or this wire uh, cable that goes through here can't go through this little buckle up here. So it gets to a point where you can't go any tighter and it's, and that's it right here. This is actually the tightest it goes. And you can see it's, a, it's not a bad position for your backpack, but it's also not a very tight and secured one like I like. I like it to be kind of like this. So it's a little bit loose, but it is still a comfortable position. So if you have like a big puffy coat on in the winter, you probably won't be able to notice a difference, but that's one downside is to having that stainless steel wire in there, uh, you, you can only adjust it so much. But it is nice having the adjustments up here because then you don't have, you know, things flapping around down here. They're kind of flapping around up here. So that's one thing. The other thing is the exo mesh security system on this thing. There are some weak points to it and it probably just comes down to cost and, and manufacturing really, but so they have the exo mesh on the outside here, but the weak point is, is this, this bit of fabric right here and this one right here. There is no exo mesh in those areas. So if, if your would be uh, thief knows about that, they could just stab there, get in there, grab the stuff. So that is one weakness. There is no exo mesh on those areas. So people could slice in there and the straps have weaknesses too. The stainless steel wire doesn't go all the way down into the bag. So this is a weak point. Someone could very easily just cut right here, cut into the bag, same with this side, and then cut those straps off and steal your bag. Same with up top here, there is no steel cable in there. So they could cut here and also cut this little bit off right here. So uh, that's only gonna be somebody who really knows the weak points of the bag and someone who really wants your bag. Uh, but for the would-be uh, quick pickpocket thief slash and grab kind of thief, 
I think you'll be you'll be pretty safe. One other thing that is eh, about the bag is its little handle here. It's just a really thin piece of of material. It's still like a it's strong. It's like a seatbelt material, but it's you know it's not that big. It's not that cushiony, but it does the job. It does the job. So I hope that was a nice little overview of this bag. Hopefully it addressed any any usability issues that you may have, and hopefully it uh, gave you enough information to decide if you want to purchase the bag or not. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see a review on this bag. This is the Osprey Pixel. This is my current daily driver, and I really like it. That's all I got for you guys today. Please like and subscribe, and check back very soon for the next video. See you later.